why do we have a predominantly inspiratory sound during extrathoracic obstruction and an expiratory sound during intrathoracic obstruction if you look at the airway this is the thoracic cage and this is the diaphragm and these are the lungs so this is the extrathoracic airway above the thoracic inlet and down below is the intrathoracic airway below the thoracic inlet during inspiration in an extrathoracic airway the chest cage moves out because it has all the muscles this creates a negative intrapleural pressure and because of this the lung expands now this negative pressure is then communicated to the airway in because of this negative pressure the unsupported extrathoracic airway collapses creating a strider during expiration in an extrathoracic obstruction as the chest wall falls back it creates a positive pleural pressure which collapses the lung this positive pleural pressure is then communicated to the airway which opens up the unsupported or relatively less supported extrathoracic airway in an intrathoracic airway obstruction during inspiration as the thoracic cage expands it creates a negative pleural pressure as the lung expands the airway inside become larger and so any obstruction would become less during inspiration in an intrathoracic airway while in an intrathoracic airway obstruction during expiration as the thoracic cage falls back and the lungs collapse the airway inside the lung parenchyma also become narrower so intrathoracic obstruction during expiration are more severe it is important to remember that these differences are seen only with mild obstruction with severe obstruction in both intrathoracic and extrathoracic obstruction you have biphasic sounds